Hello friends, I'm coming to you today from Bobbitt's village and it's time for us to help him out with his decorating again. You can see the efforts of our uh, last bit of help, <laughs> still, in, still in evidence around here. So we're helping him out with this new area today. Oh, this is really cute. That is a great tree, I like that. So we've got these two houses here and he's asked for our help with some interior decoration. I love these gardens. These are really nice. Oh, you can go through. Ah, it's the pigsties. <laughs> I'll link you to Bobbitt's video where he made this. Please look at the card. It should be up in the right hand corner somewhere. Ah, oh, that's certainly a wheat field. Oh, hello. I'll take that. Mate, you've lost one. <laughs> okay, so let's check these guys out. Oh, decent space down here. Can certainly fit a few good rooms in. Whoa, and loads of space up here. This place is massive upstairs. Not very many windows in the back, but that's okay. And there's this house here. What oh, is that? There's no glass in this window. <laughs> I wonder if that's intentional or not. Ah, this one is a bit smaller, but very cute. Oh, this is really nice. It's going to be lovely and cozy. <gasps> a balcony. Oh, I love it. Oh, that's excellent. Oh, looking out over the fields with a tree. Oh, this is really gorgeous. So my plan today is to run through how I design interiors, and hopefully that will help you with your own. So let's get to it. Before you do anything, you want to decide what kind of style you're going for. I'm going to try and match the style of the houses that Bob has built and give kind of a rustic medieval look. Then for this build, like he's already built the exterior. Usually I would tweak the exterior based on what I do inside, but that's absolutely fine. We can totally work with this. This has got lots of good features. Oh, he's left us a crafting bench, how kind. I've come over to my storage room to grab a bunch of supplies that I think are going to be useful for this. Another important thing you've got to decide right off the bat is if you need your builds to be functional or if they're just going to be decorative. For example, this little area down here with my lovely axolotls. <laughs> Hello. Uh, that is functional as well as like decorative. So I have got things like I've got a little table made here and I've got like pretty things like the amethysts, but everything really is just very functional. For the interior I'm making for Bobbit, everything doesn't have to be functional because he's already got all those functional areas already in his base. So I can just go crazy with the decorations. So I've got a few basics to get me started. I'm thinking about using quartz for the walls. So I'll use that to lay out the basic plan of the building. Hmm, do I move the staircase or not? That's the question. You know what? It's, I think it's okay though, it's not bad. Another thing to consider is if you want to do a double width wall, so you could have a different wall in the interior. That can look really nice. So for example, oh, I've got quartz, not smooth quartz. Okay, I'm going to sort that out. So for example, you would have the wall like this, which means that you don't have to have the outside texture as the inside texture, but it does mean that your space will get a lot smaller. And with how small this space is, especially this bit at the front, I think that would just get too small, so I'm not going to do that this time. But if you're doing a big build, it's definitely something worth considering. Alrighty, so I've got my basic layout sorted out. So in this house, you'll come in, this will be a kitchen area down here. With a living area down here. And I've had a thought, like, it might be more fun to do these as a more modern interior. So I'm going to have a little cupboard under the stairs, maybe a little desk space. A little working space there, maybe. And if you head upstairs, you're going to have two bedrooms up here, one here with access to this lovely balcony. And you're going to have another one over here. One of these two is going to be the bathroom and one of these is going to be the bedroom. I haven't decided which is which yet, but uh, yeah. Two bed, one bathroom. Very cute. I like this house. And in the other house, let me show you the upstairs first because the upstairs I'm fairly happy with. Downstairs, I'm not sure. <laughs> so in this one, we've got three bedrooms. So this is going to be the master bedroom over here. Nice view. I'm uh, going to have a little ensuite bathroom for this one. 
You can have a second bedroom here and a third bedroom over here at the front and then a shared bathroom as well. Then downstairs, I'm still not super happy with this layout, so I'll probably change it as I go. Um, but I was thinking maybe like a little living room, a snug area here. Then maybe some kind of open plan kitchen. Uh, I'm not sure, maybe a study or a dining room at the front. Yeah, I'm not 100% happy with this layout. This might change as I go. But in general, I try and get the layouts like at least roughly before I start. And I'm going to contact Bob as well because I think especially this house would benefit from another window or two. So you see there's like there's no window in this wall here. So when the walls are up, it's going to make it pretty dark in this hallway. Uh, so I looked from the outside. Oh, oh no. <laughs> and I think it would be it would look fine to add a window here. So I sent him a message and we'll see what he says. So I have spoken with Bobbert and he is absolutely fine with me adding any doors or windows that I like. And you might be wondering why I'm in the nether. <laughs> it's because I'd really, really like to make him a pig banner. And for that, I am going to need a bastion to get the snout, um, to get the snout banner. Oh, I should be drinking my fire resistance potions. I've got pretty prepped. For this, um, I've got my uh, safety hat on, <laughs> so that the piglins like me. I just have no idea where there's a bastion. I know I should probably fly around. Flying in the nether is a bit risky. Yeah, Bobbit said he wants a kind of farmhouse style for the the cottages, which is totally fine. We're going to do modern farmhouse. Um. Oh, oh, hello, that was lucky. Okay. So there are still going to be piglin brutes that we've got to watch out for. Got loads of blocks here. Kind of give me a bit of a... A little bit of protection, but I don't feel like this is going to go particularly well. <laughs> Shall I try going up to the top, maybe? Start from the top? Oh, it's a normal piglin. The normal piglin shouldn't mind me at all. But the brutes, and of course the hoglins, will not appreciate my presence. Oh my gosh, it's scary. A lot of lava here. I'm wondering if like lava's covering up some of the things that I need to get to. Not really very au fait with where the treasure is. Oh, though that looks like a treasure chest. My plan is to kind of block myself in <laughs> with the treasure chest. And then open it. If they can't see me open it, am I going to be okay? And, oh, a lodestone. That's awesome. Uh, well, there's nothing there that's um, particularly of use to me. The lodestone is cool, but... Mm. Not the snap banner I was hoping for. Now, did anyone see me? Is anybody mad? Might have got away with it. I don't know if they like automatically know somehow. <gasps> two two treasure chests. Okay. Watching out, watching out. Okay, fingers crossed guys, we've got three chests here. Oh no. Nothing particularly use in there, but we'll take it anyway. It's all good stuff. And oh no! So there's a few cool bits in there. I really want to steal the gold. But they're gonna be so mad. <laughs> well, I've started now. Begin to suspect that there isn't any more to find. Yeah, apart from bad, scary things. I think we've been up to the top. It's just there. Are we safe? Okay, fingers crossed. Ah, no. Okay, I think that's all I'm getting out of this one. Oh, 
Okay, we'll find a bastion, we'll find a guest. Okay, I spied a couple of chests right off the bat. Gonna keep an eye out for brutes though. Okay, we're in, we're safe. Oh no. Darn it! No look at all. Oh my gosh, I'm so scared. Why am I so scared? Oh, no! Accident, I swear it was an accident. Oops, I accidentally broke some of that stuff. Some of the, uh, the nether gold stuff. Please, please have this now. Oh, don't tell me this is the one I found before. It's not the one I found before, but also it doesn't have anything useful in <laughs> These. Oh man, I swear I have awful look with these. Okay, here we are. A third best gym right here. Ooh. Start at the tippy top. I have my potion first there. Can't see any right off the bat. Just going to head down. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can. Oh, wow, this is a huge bastion. This is massive. Oh my goodness gracious. Uh, alas, nothing of particular use. Looks like there are two sections, really. Let's start with this one and then go over to that side. There's one down there, okay. No. Damn, pick that there. That's pretty awesome. Oh, I do not like this. Can't see another chest in this area, but that doesn't mean that there isn't one. It's very uh, labyrinthine. Okay, yeah, let's move on to the next section. What? That's a brute! Fly! Oh, he scared the life out of me! Don't mind me. Okay, I think this is our last chance. I don't know if my nerves are going to last much longer. Fingers crossed! Oh no! <laughs> How'd I get out of here? Oh, I really don't want this to be a brute. Well, I've raided three different bastions and come up empty each time, so I'm taking a break to give my nerves a rest, and I'm back at the house here. I've had a little think about this whole kitchen situation um, and the living room situation, because I'm not happy with this bottom layout here, and I've got a plan. So we're just going to rip this down <laughs> try again. Okay, so this area is going to be the kitchen instead this time, and we're going to put an extra door just in here. I personally like to have a back door going off the kitchen, like in real life and in Minecraft, it's just convenient. We're using the spruce doors for the external doors here. Clear old path. Lovely. So, kitchen. I've got these uh, quartz pillars, which I'm going to be using as our kitchen counter blocks. And I'm going to put these along here. A couple of sinks in there, I think. Some more countertop, and let's pop our smoker and blast furnace in here entirely unnecessary like uh practicality wise but i like to have a fridge in my kitchen and i'm just using iron blocks out of habit there i also i'm gonna have a little central island which i think is gonna look really cute just a little one i think mm, nice and then what i really like to do is add the gray carpet as like a countertop because it's quite rare that in uh, normal kitchens you'd have the same thing all the way up a lot of people have a different color countertop i think it looks quite nice and modern hmm, very good got to get our lighting in as well it's getting very dark in this kitchen <laughs> and that is the rough layout there and that's pretty nice so i'm going to put a wall in here i think put the door yeah maybe here that looks good to me oh i just realized it's dirt there let's uh, fix that Oh, I really hate when you've got like the one pixel gap there. 
Let's just go grab a couple of these blocks and we'll fix that. There we go, and that looks just that little bit smoother. Very nice. Okay, so this room kind of makes sense to me now. You come in, there's gonna be some kind of hallway here. You come into this nice kitchen. Um, there's not really enough room for a dining table. So what I'm gonna do, is I think I'm gonna wall this off and make like a little storage room. Thankfully, Bobbit has decided to do a double ceiling uh, and floor there, which is very handy. <laughs> yeah, let's box some storage in here. There you go, that is a much cleaner look there. Nice little cup under the stairs and bonus storage space. I mean, you could just leave this like three high. There's a nice open archway. But, like this maybe is just the practical person in me, but I like kitchens have a door, you know, when you cook, like you don't want the smells all around the house. And if you accidentally set something on fire, <laughs> you probably don't want the smoke to go through the house either. Also, another plus of having the back door there. Okay, happy with that. I mean, it needs a little bit of decoration, but we can take care of that. Maybe a little painting on this wall. <laughs> that one. Yeah, lovely. Lovely, that's very nice. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit more decorating and I will catch up with you soon. So I've put a couple of plants in the kitchen. And I have done the living room and the dining room. The dining room, I, I get it, it's super boring. I think I'm gonna change this up. But for now, like I like the layout, it's just, it's really brown. I shall have to come up with some alternate dining room option, because I don't like that one. <laughs> but for position wise, it's fine for now. And that's the living room. That leaves a good area here to be a nice like entrance hall kind of thing. Kind of wish there was like a feature here, like maybe I'll make the window bigger or, you know, I'm really tempted to put a fireplace in because like a lot of farmhouses would have had them. Like from the shape of the cottage, it would more typically be at like this end and then one at that end. But we could put one in the middle. That could be really nice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna muse on this because what else am I gonna put in the, the hallway? <laughs> We'll figure this out, but for upstairs, I've had a little think and I've changed the layout very slightly. So what I've done is I've extended the bathroom. The wall was like here before, something like that. Um, And I think people often underestimate how much space they need for bathrooms. Because if you want to get a bath in and a shower and toilet and sink, then that's quite a lot of space, you know? So... Yeah, I extended that because this bedroom was just really long and you don't want your rooms to be weirdly proportioned. Like a super long room, it's not it's not very typical for a start. Like most rooms are fairly regular shapes and it's just difficult to design in. So I figure a room this size will be much easier to design, look much cozier and yeah, it's not the main bedroom, you know? makes a nice guest bedroom and because I decided to add the hanging plants downstairs we've got a couple of uh, ugly bits of um, mismatched floor here so we're gonna have to change the flooring up in here I think maybe we'll go for carpet or maybe wool with a little bit of uh, carpet just to cover these patches hmm but let's start getting uh, getting going with some of the bedrooms in the bathroom and our upstairs is looking a little bit funny now because I've got two boxes in it. I kind of like to build up the walls as I'm building the room. Uh, so yeah, here we go. So this is going to be the master bathroom. Got a beautiful bath. Got a couple of little details like these sepicles here. Looking like just some like uh, shampoo and conditioner, maybe something like that. A little tap, a sink, toilet. I've got a little walk-in shower here. Very luxurious. And this is the shared bathroom for the other bedrooms. And we've got a little uh, bathtub shower thing going on here and toilet and sink again. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with those and that's pretty much setting the height for uh, these rooms, four blocks. And that goes well with what's downstairs as well. Bob had already set the height for down here at three and a half blocks, three where the beams are, uh, which is fine. I feel like it gives it more of a cottagey feel. I'd usually like to go a little bit higher in my rooms to make it feel more spacious. But yeah, look, it's more old fashioned and cottagey like this. So I've got three bedrooms to be getting on with now. I'll go and have a go at those and I'll bring you in next time something interesting happens. <laughs> okay, I've got a slight problem. I think there are pillagers in the house. <laughs> ah, 
I really, really don't want to start a raid in Bobbit's Village. Yep, there. Oh, that's okay. That's a that's a zombie. Okay. I can live with. Oh, oh my gosh. Maybe we should sleep. Oh dear, this is getting dangerous. Okay, okay. There must be a safe bed around here somewhere. Okay. Oh, it's not gonna let me sleep here, is it? Oh, is it? Okay, okay, I managed to sleep. <laughs> That's not something you wanna wake up next day. Where's your raid captain gone? It's just you, it's fine. If your buddy's disappeared somewhere, then then that's okay. Okay, I can take you out because you haven't got a thing. Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay. I don't have bad omen. I'm not starting any raids. Oh, I think we're in the clear. <laughs> Let's go and replace the doors. So I'm doing the uh, ceiling here of the master bedroom. I'm just going to bring you in for a sec because I'm about to close off this roof section. Yes, I could use this area for storage or another room or anything there is like enough height just it'd be a, it'd be like a tight squeeze you'd probably have to use this as the ceiling um but you could just about fit another small room in here um but i am not gonna i think there's enough storage it's interesting enough downstairs i'm just gonna seal it off just making sure uh to light it up enough just in case anything spawns. A lot of these are like bottom slabs, so nothing has spawned on them anyways. Um, but just in case, there are a few places where things could spawn and we don't want <laughs> we don't want spooky noises coming from the attic. So yeah, make sure you light up your attics before you seal them off. <laughs> and things are going pretty well up here. We've got the kids' room sorted. We've got one little area down here. And up the little stairs, we've got a kind of mezzanine with another bedroom and study area here. So one room, but giving them each a little bit of privacy. Hmm. We've got a nice little guest room over here. Very lovely sunny uh, backdrop there. I put a little window in here. Um, it was really dark in the hallway and I thought it would look nice, but I've got to check what that looks like from the outside as well. And here is the master bedroom. Now for this bed, I've gone for a little bit of a different scale. You see, we've got normal beds in here. And in here, we've got much bigger beds. <laughs> so like that would be one, two, three across and it's an extra one long. I don't usually do this. I usually stick with the normal size beds and the same scale. I just wanted to switch it up a little bit. Uh, I thought it's a master bedroom. There's lots of room and we'll give it a really grand bed. <laughs> of course, it's got the ensuite over here. This wall was looking really bare, so I added in a little bit of detail with the other quartz blocks. Of course, this one is the uh, shared bathroom. And in this hallway here, I've got a couple of issues. Well, I've got three issues, two of which I've got an idea to solve. <laughs> so first issue, this is the backdrop that I put in the guest bedroom. Looks well, lovely on this side, but it doesn't really go on this side. It, it's a bit uneven, so what I'm actually going to do is keep this corridor like this. I'm going to use a lot of paintings. We're going to create a painting mosaic. Oh. Okay, maybe just uh, switch one or two of these up a little bit. And there we go. Now, as you come up the stairs, you've got an exciting art wall to look at. But it's still very dark, so I think I'd like to put a window in this wall. But I'm gonna go, like, ideally, I'd punch through, like, a three by two here. I'm gonna go outside and have a look and see if that would cause any kind of problems before I punch it through this time. <laughs> so it's just pretty flat at the back. Um, this is where the bathroom is. So that wouldn't be able to be opened up for a window, but that is fine. 
I don't mind it be not being symmetrical. I mean, look at the bottom layer. It's not quite symmetrical there either. And then I'm going to check out in the front as well how that little thin window looks. Hmm. I don't mind it, but I have a feeling that a Bobbit will prefer something like this around it. May have to do something with this. <laughs> My third issue is I don't super love that the stairs come up and then there's this little thing you can walk around. It's kind of too small to put a banister on um, or some kind of like fence to keep people away. But at the same time, it's like a hazard. I'm going to have to think on that one. But yeah, let's put the window in. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's so much brighter. Oh, that's lovely. Okay, I will go outside and decorate that so it matches on the outside as well. Might put a couple of lanterns up actually. There's plenty of room in this hallway. Tricky to know to where to place your lanterns in, a, in an uneven hallway. But I prefer to put them on the same side rather than say one here, one over here. I used to do it that way, like one there and one there. Because I thought it kind of like evened things out. But if you're looking at things straight on, it just makes them look more uneven. And like if you're coming from here, it's hard to tell like that it's not quite in the middle. It's not as noticeable. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that banister. So that's quite nice. I, I kind of like the offset, like deliberately, it's uneven. This looks kind of cool. I don't know. I'm enjoying it. And as I do with a lot of awkward spaces, <laughs> it's the perfect way to sneak in a little book nook. There you go. Nice cozy place to sit and read. Look out across the fields. Beautiful. I might just go and get a different uh, trapdoor to go on the arm there. <laughs> there we are. Finished little book nook at the top of the stairs. What was a really odd looking place now looks really cute in my opinion. Hmm, I actually love it. <laughs> and these trapdoors have given me an idea for downstairs. To change these up. I think I might need a different wood, but yeah, that's a pretty cute chair. Maybe I'll change the table as well. So I've changed the design of the chairs and the color and the table, <laughs> but the layout is still the same. And I think it looks lovely. It looks very elegant, I think, very sophisticated. And the trees really help with the atmosphere as well. Hmm, much better. Now the only thing left is this entrance hall. Let's get on with it. So what do you think of this cute little floor? I've gone with pink to kind of fit with the pig theme. These pigs. <laughs> mm, do you know what? I think I'm going to put a fireplace in. Maybe a couple of sofas. Mm. Let's do it. That is the first house finished and it is looking absolutely glorious. Hang on till the end of the video to get the full tour of that one. But now it's time to move on to house number two. This one needs a bit more renovation. I mean, it hasn't even got any windows. <laughs> So I've got the layout of this one. This will be the front door just here. We're going to have a little kitchen around here. We're going to have a living dining room in here. It's a little cupboard under stairs just to like conceal that awkward gap. And upstairs, going to have a master bedroom here, going out onto the balcony. So beautiful. Maybe we can put a little table out here or something. And we're going to have a second bedroom and a bathroom as well. Alrighty, let's get to it. This video is getting really long, so I've gone ahead and I've decorated the whole of the little house. So first of all, we come straight into the kitchen, and this is a way more practical kitchen than in the other house. You've got things like your automatic composter here. You've got your brewing station and a cauldron where you can keep some water for the bottles and all the useful tools you might need. I've even got a little infinite lava source in here for all your uh, smelting needs. But as I like to do, I have mixed it with decorative things. Like here, we've got a little computer desk. Just squeezed in the corner, otherwise it would be quite bare. And I've got a little cupboard under the stairs here. Functional and also neat. In the living room, it's all decorative. We've got this really super cozy seating area here. Let me just take that off. 
That's just adorable. All bright and cheerful. I think this looks like a flower. <laughs> then as we head upstairs, we've got another of these little landings here. Slightly awkward shape, but we've made it work. So the first bedroom here is the master bedroom. We've got it for a bit of a darker theme in here with lovely blue accents. Very cozy. And it leads out onto the balcony. I've put this cute little table here. What a perfect place to sit and have your morning coffee. And then the second bedroom here. This is a twin room. So you've got space for maybe two children. Um, and yeah, it's really cute. All blues. I tried to match the colours of the painting. Yeah, really like it. And finally, we have, of course, the bathroom. So we've got a dark counter in this one. Then we've got a lovely walk-in shower and a little toilet there as well. I was thinking about having a little staircase up here into the loft space, but the loft space isn't actually that big. So I decided not to bother. I think there's plenty of room in the rest of the house. We've got two bedrooms, a bathroom, kitchen, and a living diner. It's a great sized house. I really like it. I'm, in fact, very tempted to claim this is my house in Bobbitt's Village. <laughs> I definitely have to bring a couple of cats over there. Oh, and I don't think I ever showed you the uh, final reveal of the main house. So here's the entryway. Oh, so cozy. <laughs> and there we are. Both houses have been fully decorated. I hope that Bobber enjoys them both. And I hope they live up to his expectations. I have certainly enjoyed doing them. I think there's loads of really cute little details and it, it all fits so well together. <laughs> like I usually design houses and like do the interiors myself and then amend the outside design to fit. But this has worked really nicely. Like all nice shapes and yeah, I'm really pleased with how it's turned out. So that is all for this episode. If you want to find out how to build these cottages, please check out Bobbit's episode. I will link it in the description below. And if you want me to do more challenges like this, please leave me a comment so that I know you enjoy this type of content. All right, so thank you so much for watching today, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!